So you grew up in New York State. Yep, in, Ro Rochester, New York. In Rochester, yeah. and you were listening to Dave Matthews Band, stuff like that. Well, my friends were listening to Dave Matthews Band a lot. It was, um, they were very popular when I was in high school, I remember that. And um, I, I've i always liked a wide range of music. I mean, I, I've always listened to the popular things, and, and a lot of it's really catchy. Uh, but for me, the thing that really got me excited and that I was most passionate about from the very start was classical music. Um, and so as I was growing up, I was able to play in a lot of great youth orchestras, and, and, and really I formed a lot of fantastic bonds through music early on. I, I have to say that most of the people uh, with whom I'm still in contact from those days were fellow musicians in the various ensembles I played in because uh, it, it's a different, in a world today where everyone is communicating through their thumbs and text messages and emails and things like that, you know, I think too, too seldom do people actually sit down and have a face-to-face -face conversation. Of course, music, you're not having a verbal conversation, but it's a whole other way of communicating. And it's a great way, I think, for, for young people to come out of themselves and have to express something which is physical, which physically comes out of, them, of themselves and goes to their colleagues in their ensemble. And then they have to interact and come together to create this this product, which is the piece that they're performing, and it has so many great implications because it teaches children about teamwork. It teaches them about how everyone needs to work together to form one goal or to reach one goal or to form one end product, uh, and it gives them that example to to get their heads out of their iPads and everything and really, really experience a, a very direct and unique form of communication, which is music. So, I think. I think growing up as a musician was a tremendously enriching experience and a valuable one that uh, that obviously I've carried with me to this day. Do you sometimes, or did you sometimes feel like an outsider loving classical music, you know, growing up in this country as Some, a kid? I, I personally never felt like an outsider. Sometimes I was a little bit frustrated that some of my peers didn't understand my passion. Uh, but I understood why, because they didn't have enough exposure to it. But I have to say, whenever I would have a friend, whenever I would successfully drag a friend to a concert, they were always blown away. So I think we have to always be trying to, to get the word out and bring in the next generation, because um, I can't think of one example where someone came and didn't bring something positive out of the experience. If you had to pick a piece that you were going to conduct for somebody who you thought, you are going to love this, you just don't know it. What what piece would that be? Whew. There's so many. Um, there are some that are familiar because of popular culture, of course, like a Beethoven Five or, or yeah. anything like that. Um, but I think uh, any great piece with a great melody and with a great energy, like, you know, be it a Mozart symphony, a Haydn symphony, Beethoven, Brahms, Wagner might be a little bit much to bite off in the first time because that tends to be a little bit long. Um, but there's so many good opportunities, I can't really name one. I think you just, the important thing is just to go hear live music, or better yet, to perform it yourself with friends. Uh, because um, my sister, for example, is now an attorney, but when we were growing up, she played in all the same groups that I did, and she still, to this day, has a piano in her house and enjoys playing, she enjoys going to concerts, and that's, that's wonderful because she, while she didn't choose music uh, as a profession, she's kept it in her life. And I think if you asked her, she would say that it's it's really rewarding, it's it's cleansing, it's a, it takes you to a different place, and it sort of it adds a, a dimension and a dynamic to your being that is something that I think, if you're without it, you're sort of incomplete. So one way or another, if you can have a musical experience growing up, you'll carry it with you for the rest of your life.